when I look at the, at the walkway of honor, and in particularly the new additions to the walkway of honor, what really sticks out to me is, is pride and a sense of community. And then frankly, I think, and actually I'm quite certain, I know for a fact that I don't, I don't think any other portion or region of Virginia could have pulled this off. It started in February of 2019. My brother, that you all will be hearing from a little later, he asked if I would take on the mission of bringing awareness of what we all here know is Southside Virginia, and he wanted that awareness to be brought to the Virginia War Memorial Foundation. Well, in March of 2019, Ted and I met here on these grounds, and it didn't take us but about one hour, and we walked around, we sat out here, we looked at this etched wall that to me just can take your breath away if you're here in the quiet. So we wanted something that was gonna really make a lasting impression. So we notified the War Memorial that that's what we wanted to do, and we talked about what we would get for that sponsorship, and that we wanted a, a rock and plaque at the, at the mouth, and we wanted the first three sections of the walkway reserved for Southside Virginia. And that's how we wanted to make sure that forever, when people walk through, they would see Southside Virginia heroes. People will come from all over this nation and walk that sidewalk, and read your loved one's brick aloud. As Joyce saying, when she and I settled on the sponsorship of the walkway mm -hmm. as a way to give the special and lasting recognition to the veterans of Southside Virginia, we knew going in that it was a lot of money to raise, but we also were well aware of the love and appreciation and the dedication of the citizens of Southside Virginia to their soldiers through all the wars and even up to today. As she was mentioning in our can we really get this done discussions, we were both confident and assured that based on the people that we knew that we could eventually make it happen. And here we are. It's a privilege for us to be able to gather here today. It's a privilege for us to be able to honor the heroes of Southside Virginia and to, to remember their service and remember their sacrifice. And if you look up here on the walls, you'll see this Halifax, Pennsylvania, and Mecklenburg County. And if you read the names, you will know some of those names. Ladies and gentlemen, it's important that we remember, and it's important that we tell their story. And so today, here we stand in this hallowed place, if you will. If you look around you here, you see the names of those from the entire state of Virginia. Ladies and gentlemen, it's so important that we remember. It's so important that we come and look at those names and make sure one's not forgotten. It's so important that we tell the youngsters who they were and why they were. And then right out here, you've heard them talk about the walkway of honors, but there are names of some of those heroes, some of which are sitting here today, some of which rest their soul have passed, but they're remembered out there. History teaches us many things, but I think that the most important thing history teaches us is that things don't just happen. People make things happen. And were it not for two very special people, the Southside Initiative would not have happened. Joyce Ellen French and Ted Daniel made this happen. Southside Virginia owns this walkway. The bricks you have contributed comprise almost 15% of the total walkway from all parts of Virginia. And that piece of granite from Mecklenburg, well, Nothing says rock solid support like that rock does. We honor veterans so that all citizens will honor veterans and will appreciate the sacrifices necessary to preserve our democracy.